Today, we are going to learn how to make chocolate truffle strawberries. One of my personal favorite desserts because it does two things. It's going to combine chocolate and strawberries, and it's going to make a surprise dessert because what you're going to do is not cover the strawberry with it. You're going to insert the chocolate into the strawberry in such a way so that way when somebody bites into it, they never knew it was there. It is very, very important that you follow through with the recipe on making the truffle part of the chocolate. And the reason why that is is because I've made the mistake before of just melting chocolate and sticking it inside of the strawberry. Not a very good idea. And the reason why is because it gets crunchy. You get the chocolate hardens, you know, like it's supposed to, and you bite into it and you all of a sudden have crunchy strawberries and people don't like that. So this chocolate truffle strawberry is going to guarantee that you're going to have a wonderful, delicious, rich experience. Whoops. That's not good. Stop it. Bad chocolate. Bad chocolate. Okay. The recipe for chocolate truffle is too easy. All you have to have, of course, is chocolate, heavy whipping cream, and unsalted butter. And then to get it all together, the one thing that I'm doing differently since I'm using two different types of chocolate is that I'm going to be using two different kinds of containers so that way I can keep them separated. Other than that, the recipe is simple. For eight ounces of chocolate, you're going to need a tablespoon of butter and, of course, about three quarters of a cup of the heavy whipping cream. And then you just separate between the both. So with the magic of editing, I'm just going to get everything taken care of and put it into the containers as so. And what you're going to actually see is my little trick that I'm going to do for the strawberries. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? Okay, the mixture is done. You have the cream inside of there, the butter is inside of there, and the two separate chocolates. Well, what's going to happen is that individually I'm going to stick them into the microwave. And what I'm going to be looking for is just the beginning of the bubbling of the cream. So you have to keep an eye on it. It should take about 30 to 45 seconds. And as long as you don't see any more uh, light white anywhere else, then it's done. All right, so what's gonna happen is these two are gonna be going into the freezer for about 15 minutes. That way uh, they can harden just a little bit so that it makes it easier to stuff into the strawberries. Uh, the uh, important detail, of course, is that you don't see any more cream in the dark chocolate. You can't see the color change. I'm sorry about that, but in the white chocolate, it, it becomes like a, a very light lemon color, so lemon outside color. And that way you'll know that it's absorbed the cream and the butter that goes with it. So into the freezer they go, and I'll get the strawberries prepared. All right, everybody. So I've been doing a few practices right here, so that way it just makes it easier for you to see everything all done at one time. All right. So it's been about 15 minutes in the refrigerator freezer uh, that I've had, and uh, the consistency has been pretty good. The white chocolate is a little softer than I would expect, so I'd probably put it back in the refrigerator a little bit more, but. For showing purposes, it's going to be okay. Now what will happen is, is that you're going to take your strawberry, you're going to put it hull down, and you're going to look for the lengthways for the strawberry itself. So in this case, it's okay not to be perfect dead center, just enough to get in there. It's important that you don't get too far down, okay, because obviously the person is going to have to grab it and you don't want it to be falling apart on them. What will happen then, is that you'll take the strawberry as such, open it up, and you'll see that usually there is space inside of, of these uh, strawberries, so that way it'll allow for it. But if there isn't any, carefully, you're just going to take the knife, 
and you're going to cut out the tongue, as I like to call it. I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's what I like to call it. I'm going to cut out the tongue of the strawberry, like that. Okay, cut out the tongue of the strawberry, give it a little bit of some room right there. And then what will happen is, is that you'll have strawberries with, you know, open mouths. Not, not every strawberry is perfectly designed, but it will get it done. Once you complete doing that and get as many strawberries as you want, you're going to take your strawberry, I'm going to take your chocolate mixture, small spoon will be helpful here. It's okay to a little bit overstuff it. Sometimes I actually do it on purpose because it's okay to show people that you have chocolate inside of your strawberry. And that's what's going to come out of it right there. Now put them onto the side. See, there was another one that I made. And what happens is, is that if you want to leave the chocolate coming out of the strawberry like that, go for it. Or what you can do is you'll take the same strawberry like this one right here. Make sure you press it just nice and well. And take it to the sink and wash off the chocolate from the outside. All right, so after you wash it just like this, what's gonna happen is you can see it's nice and cleaned out. It looks pretty much like a strawberry, but we both know there's chocolate inside of there. And what will happen is that when you take that bite inside of that strawberry, you're gonna have a nice chocolatey truffle taste going for it, and that will get that completed. All right, one small detail. Uh, like I said before, make sure that the truffle material, this is a little too gooey, so just stick it in the refrigerator. If you see that, it's a little too much. So it will work, it'll just be a little messier, that's all. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to complete all of this, but I'm now showing you how to make chocolate truffle strawberries, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, bon appetit.